I've been out all day trying to find orders and they're just not there. I, I don't get it. Oh, this is so, so exhausting, so tiring. Oh. This is so frustrating. It was so slow today. I was out at 10 o'clock and it's a Friday. I only got one Instacart order. I had Uber Eats and Grubhub on the whole time, didn't get anything. This is so sad, it's slow. Why is this? Is it from a looming recession? Is inflation too high? This is leading right into the weekend. It should be busy with orders. It was lunchtime, food delivery should be up there and grocery shopping. And in addition, it's a holiday weekend. Father's Day is coming up. Isn't that important? Shouldn't there be money to be made? My name is Russ and I'm thankful that you found me, even on this slow day. I like helping drivers like you. What do you do when it's slow? We're out there, we're available, we want to earn money, but we just can't. I can't make the orders come. You know, I was out looking for them. They weren't there. All the orders I got today were on Instacart, and you can see here, the first one was at 10, and that was $9. The next one didn't come in till 11.20, another $9 order. I was really ready to give up because you know what? That's $10 an hour, that is so slow. Thankfully, a little bit later, I got this order almost at noon. It was $29.65. That really boosted my morning's earnings. And I'm so thankful for it because you know what? What do you do? Do you just give up? Do you go home? <laughs> no, I'm out to make money and I desperately need the money. So when this happens to you, there's two things that you can do. The first is change your availability. If you can go out during a different day part, that's better. I'm available during the day and I know it's limited. If I go during peak meal times, I'm gonna earn a lot more, you know, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The second thing you can do is just lower your standards a little bit. All those orders aren't gonna be perfect and it's better to be busy and make money than not make money. There is one difference. Here in California, we get Prop 22 and this has been really, really a good thing because like today when it was really slow, I am so used to knowing what are good orders and if customers aren't gonna tip or if it's really low, high miles, I know better than to take that order. But now with Prop 22 in California, I can afford to lower my standards even more because I know that the Prop 22 money is gonna pay the difference for those customers that don't tip. But if you live outside of California, what does lowering your standards actually mean? Well, whatever criteria you use right now that you would say it's worth your time to make money, just reduce them a little bit. If that's a little bit dollars per mile less, or you know, if the customer would normally tip $5 and you'll take a $3 tip, it's better to keep busy and make money than to just waste time and not make money. Now, I will caution you, I've made previous videos on this. The earnings are coming out of your car especially when you're not making as much, guaranteed they're coming out of the life expectancy of your car. So you need to be very careful of that. But in my case, my car's already really old and I've pulled quite a bit of money out of it so far. And I do have quite a few repairs that I've made to it. But just, I caution you on that. By lowering your standards, you're really getting that paycheck from your car. Overall today, I earned $47.69. I worked for three hours. That works out to $15.90 per hour. Now keep in mind, I'm probably gonna get some Prop 22 money, so that's gonna boost it even more. I am used to getting about $20 an hour, and I can really feel it when it gets less than that. I drove a total of 42.4 miles. The first two orders were really low miles. It was that last one that I went on a long distance trip and back but it was worth it to me because I'd rather make money. And that worked out to $1.13 per mile. Not too bad. Generally, anything under a dollar per mile, I know is really bad. It's not good for my car and it's a waste of time for me. But I need the money and I imagine you do too. Are there any other market considerations going on out there today? Let's think about that. You know, I don't know if you've been keeping up with the news. We do get conflicting reports on the state of our economy. How is inflation? You know, our government has spent a lot of money. Who's gonna pay that back? As gig economy workers, I think we're gonna be the first to notice any slowing trends because customers won't have as much disposable income, which would translate into not sending us orders for food delivery. 
you know, it's not the pandemic times, and that's probably not going to be that way for a long time because back then people really appreciated us, they needed us, and they tipped us exceedingly well because we were out there doing grocery shopping and delivering food to their families as they were stuck inside. So yes, times have changed and that's normal. But I would propose that we are going to see the effects of any pending recession before the general public notices. We're just going to see a decrease in our orders. So this is something that you should prepare for now. If our work slows, how are you going to make income? Look to other gig economy apps, maybe in a different industry, do some online work, or maybe go try to find a part-time W-2 job or full-time. The possibilities are endless, but overall, we can't delay if we're noticing our earnings decreasing. We need to still be able to make money, and you're just going to have to look elsewhere in order to do that. Please share in the comments below, have you noticed any significant trends in your food delivery orders going down? I would be curious. Please do share that feedback. And just remember, if things are slow, try to change your availability. Go to different day parts. And the next thing you can do is just lower your standards. Don't eliminate them and maybe accept some orders that you normally wouldn't. It's better to be busy and make some money. I've identified seven ways that you can become a highly effective food delivery driver, and you should check that out. And with that said, please do like the video and channel. I'm going to get back out on the road and see if I can make some more money. Sun's not down yet. Dinner rush is coming. So take care, everybody, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.